missing all the opportunities, guys. This is not the football that we know here in England, mate. As you guys can see, I'm rubbish at this game. But Arsene Wenger has been training people how to kick that spherical object out and about. He's a legend. He is a football legend. And let's face it, Arsenal is one of the biggest teams flipping in, South, in, in London. You know what I'm saying? But in the latest Guardian article, that guy was actually... He was thinking if it's actually all worth it. He was worried that he had dedicated his life to football and if he died, what did he live for? Training people to kick a ball about. It's not exactly making the most of your life. Because I knew uh, instinctively you need to find the meaning in life. My meaning was football. I was absolutely sure and at some stage it catches you because uh, age catches up and uh, you, you have to do it. Now I get it, on the side, it's nice for a bit of entertainment. But as purpose, because when we ask our kids, they want to be footballers. But when you attain the fame, what happens thereafter? That void is left. But we as Muslims, we take purpose for granted, yeah? We have purpose, we get up in the morning, but we see these people and we think they're happy. Yeah, temporarily, they might be joyful, like those uh, mugs because they finally got it in the back of the net. Yeah, think about it. Many of you guys are unhappy because you guys go to jobs and your jobs, because you don't have a, a purpose, you're not helping people or you're not improving your religion or other people's lives, yeah? That's why you're unhappy. Some of you guys are doing it so you can put food on the table or so you can, uh, you know, become self-employed or whatever the case may be, guys. Yeah, if there's a purpose attached, it makes you more happy. What if you become a popular footballer, you've got millions of followers, becomes mundane and routine, and then eventually you realize like, all right, I've got it, what now? <laughs> The only thing that can fill that void is purpose. Yeah, all these Sadhgurus speaking to Logan Paul and these Jay Shetty's writing the book. Yes, they have a lot of uh, lifestyle hacks and improvements, but when it comes to purpose and death, they fall short. Yeah, they don't give us the practical solutions that Islam gives. And when it comes to lifestyle advice, maybe that's where Muslims fall short. Whenever something goes wrong, we say, yeah, yeah, just have patience, mate. Yeah, it's meant to be, oh yeah, that guy's in a worse situation than you. But guys, we need to take from them so we can provide a complete picture when we help somebody in their situation of need. We don't just give them a flimsy thing because Islam is a complete way of life. As Muslims, I think we do definitely take that for granted. And we look at what's on the outside, the facade. And a lot of these celebrities that I've made videos on, they all say that they've made these fake pictures and videos where they're pretending to look a certain way just so they can get more work. Because let's face it, who wants to hire a celebrity that's miserable? <laughs> let's face it, here in the UK, it's all about football, mate. It's become pretty much a religion. And here is a guy who people see as a deity. <laughs> a deity. The bosses, a legend. He's doubting his entire career in football because of this. Even Shoaib Akhtar, a Pakistani cricketer. He was like, I've spent my entire life Hitting a ball around. I'm going to the But the youth and even us nowadays, we see this thing as wow, this is something that you know, we'll fill that void. But Jim Carrey said, I would want that everybody became, become famous so they can realize that fame is not the answer. It's not the answer. So let's take heed from our mate Arsene Wenger and let's take our purpose, value it, and let's add purpose to our daily life as well. There you go, they're very happy. I think they've scored the second goal. Don't worry, it's probably offside because they're not very good. He's hit the pole again. <laughs>